Oh uh, yeah, uh, I mean, one just you know staying in shape, you know, being in great condition, you know, at the next level it's a lot more physicality and and, and running. The pace is way faster, so you know, just trying to be prepared for that for day one, and um, you know, just coming in, staying sharp with my game, and uh, you know, working on my shooting always. Past or present, are there any players you feel you play like maybe model your game after? Uh, personally, I feel like uh, like I'm trying to model my game after a person like Clay Thompson. Like I watch him play, like his footwork is uh, unbelievable. The way he you know come off staggers, the way he read uh, defenders and stuff like that, and the way he get his shot off quick. And um, that's just definitely something that I look at, and uh, definitely something that I, I idol too. Thank you. Thank you. What's up, man? What do you attribute this past year to help you know, your biggest? Need to grow. What did you think was the biggest thing you improved on to help you, you know, grow this year? Yeah, uh, I mean, the biggest thing with me was just, you know, being consistent. Um, just building those habits every single day. Uh, I just had like a routine. Uh, in the past before, I had, you know, Coach Chambers used to, he was always big on routine of greatness. And, um, you know, I took that and ran with it, uh, especially this year. I just had a routine every single day. And, uh, you know, I stuck with it. Like, I, I knew what I was going to do next week. And, um, you know, I feel like that's important as a, as a player, you know. You just, you know, making a plan and sticking with it. And, uh, you know, just being consistent with it. And you're a guy that I think you embody, two-way player. You go on and try to be good on both ends of the court. And what is something that you think has really helped you bring that to, to apply the same effort on, you know, being a guy who could not only score at the three-point shot, cut to the basket, but also guard, guard multiple positions. Yeah, I mean, it's just, I mean, it's just simple. It's just simple as, you know, one to win. Um, obviously, I know I'm a great uh, shooter, but at the same time, uh, you know, defense wins games. And, you know, I, I feel like I'm a versatile defender, guard multiple positions and be physical. And um, also, you know, be a versatile shooter. I can, I can catch off the, off, the, uh, off the, you know, catch and shoot, shoot off the dribble, uh, create my own shot. Anything and um, especially you know reading the defense is, is the huge thing with me. You know, I just read my defenders, see how they guard me. If they trailing me, I just curl it. If they go out there, I'm popping back and shooting. It's simple. Are you most comfortable off the ball, being able to step into your shot like you said, catch and shoot, or do you like you know driving in and you know being able to create your own with the rock and man? Um, I feel like you know my game going to translate more into being a catch and shoot guy. Uh, I, uh, I know my role. Um, I already accepted it as a as a catch and shoot guy, as a three and D guy, and I feel like that's important. Uh, a lot of people go to the next level and try to be something that they're not. And um, every team has two to three. Some even have four superstars on the team that's going to be the primary ball handler. So uh, he, I'm just want to be a guy, you know, he go to the lane and everybody crash on them because you know they're such a threat that they could kick it out and I can make a three. So in layman's terms. You just want to, you're, you know that you're already going in, that you're just trying to make, win basketball. And by doing that, you know you're going to be a 3D guy. So what's that, how do you get with that selfless style of knowing like, just what I have to adapt to whatever roles in front of me? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I, I, I play with, I feel like I played with a lot of great players in the past. Um, and I, I feel like I never was the, the, the primary ball handler and uh, always ran the offense and stuff like that. You know, I feel like I was always a key guy on the offense end, but I play very well without the ball. Like, I don't need the ball in my hands for me to score the ball. Like, I don't need the ball in my hands for me to play defense. Like, I might go five possessions without touching the ball, but I know that six times I touch it, like, it's going up and it's going in. I got all the confidence in the world. Sweet. Hey, so it's got great things for you, man. That's yes, sir. Thank you. Mm -hmm.